Nine News at five. Hi everyone, welcome to the News here at five. I'm Andre Moore. I'm Cheryl Mercedes. Major developments today in the Busey murder for hire trial. Definitely a big day. Mm -hmm. Both sides put a wrap on it, and so it will soon be up to the jury. Busey, his real name, Torrance Hatch, is accused of paying Michael Louding to kill Terry Boyd back in 2009. WAP's Tyana Williams is live downtown just outside District Court, where you've been all week, Tyana. Prosecutors called nearly two dozen witnesses or more. The defense called none. Yeah, that's right, Andre. It was uh, 2.44 when the, def when the prosecution rested, and then 10 minutes later, the defense also rested. They called a total of 27 witnesses. This morning, District Attorney Hiller Moore took to the stand. He testified that he did offer Michael Loudon a deal of less than life for admitting to six murders if he told the truth in each of those cases that he had knowledge of. Now, the defense questioned why the district attorney, who was present for some of Loudon's interrogation, did not make sure things were recorded if a 17-year-old was admitting to six murders. Moore said, looking back, he wished things were recorded, but he says he's trusting what the detectives say happened. Now, Terry Boyd's sister was the last witness called by the prosecution. She has a five-year-old with Hatch. She told the jury there was no problem between her brother and her, her child's father that she knew about, although she says they weren't best, the best of friends, but they were not enemies either. The prosecution says it's no surprise the defense called no witnesses. Had they presented evidence, um, it would have strengthened the state's case in, in the fact that there would have been uh, extensive cross-examination and possibly rebuttal evidence by the state that would have, that would have gone ahead and, and demolished what they could have put on. Now joining me now, we have Martin Regan. He is one of the defense attorneys for uh, Torrance Hatch. Now your, your I get, uh, opinion of the, the, the prosecution saying that why you all did not put on any witnesses. You know, it was amazing. We were, we were shocked. They had 40 witnesses listed, and having heard their first 27 decided not to call the last 13. And after their very last witness, the sister of the deceased said that there was no beef between Torrance Hatch and her brother. That just sealed the case uh, at this point for the defense. Um, what I heard today and what we examined very carefully was a, a strange number of witnesses who failed to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that Torrance Hatch was responsible in any way for the death of Mr. Boyd. It just, uh, it was amazing that they stopped when they did. And we carefully examined everything that they presented, particularly the last witness at this point, and the fact that two police officers, detectives, were caught on video lying at this point to this young man, um, Mr. Louding. Uh, we were convinced that they had not proven their case beyond a reasonable doubt. I think the jury is going to enforce the law vigorously at this point and find our client not guilty. All right, and tomorrow morning, starting at 9.30, we will hear your closing arguments as well as the prosecution's closing arguments. Following that, the jury will get the case, and they will decide whether Torrance Hatch is guilty or not guilty of first-degree murder. For now, we will send things back to you, Andre and Cheryl, in the studio. All right, Tyna, thanks for your coverage.